Hi, and welcome back to Losing is Fun with Empress Evil. I am Iken, and we are about to set foot into episode 13. There's a flash storm outside. That's a nice welcoming for the series for this episode, and let's see if it's going to be the beginning of the end. If you like this series, drop this channel a subscription and you won't miss any future episodes. Oh boy. We're having some zebras in front of the uh, colony here. That's nice. Overall, good times. Pretty good times. I only need some more steel. I have a few components left. I already have uh, dropped down the um, frames for the military turrets. And yeah, we're really getting there. Defenses are um, up and running soon. I want to mirror the um, military turrets on this side as well to make sure we're having some real uh, firepower when we're getting attacked, which happens quite often in this series, gotta be honest. So, the military turrets are uh, a little bit more costy, but they also provide more firepower. More barrels, and I don't know, 11 damage. I never compared them uh, by detail to um, the vanilla ones, but, well, I trust Mr. Pataki's uh, modding arts, so, let's see. Yeah, not like this. Still like that. Okay. Or even more so like that. I want to deny enemies the, as much cover as possible. Speaking about which, this part has to go. Terrain optimizations. can't live without them. Alright, Zippy is dig digging out more and more steel, which is uh, really awesome. All these ship chunks have to get deconstructed now as well. And I'm, I'm ready to go big now, which means I'm willing to uh, grab these resources and make something happen out of them. So that's going to be a lot of turrets in general. And Let's see how many um, components I'll have available after all this is uh, done. But I guess it's going to be a lot, and that's good, because we can do a lot of um, turrets out of the components, which will make this base quite safe. At least that's the plan. And I'm also pretty tempted to uh, smack down those zebras, because... Oh, all the clothing builds are done. So, well, let's put up another batch of five of everything. There we go. And, uh, well, it's five zebras. If I only had the turrets up and running here already, that would be awesome. Then I would be, um, absolutely brave on this, but not like this. Rather going to wait a little bit. Alright, so basically this should be everything uh, in terms of covering. And the only thing that's now left is to double layer this. Because only double layered walls are really good walls. It's silly that as that might sound, it's really uh, strong to have uh, double layers of walls. Because that really demotivates the AI to attack from these sides. So, haven't decided yet if I go for double doors or not. Mm, don't know. Let's wait. There go some obsidian chunks. That's awesome because I run, I run low of them lately. But well, not so much anymore. All right, we got the tree sewing. Awesome. So, renewable sources of wood. This place is thriving. I I didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. When I when I set up that series, I was more like, oh well, fire and forget. Five to six episodes tops and I'm in the dust. Well, look where, where we are. Giving Django the excellent steel bed. That's where we are. So that's uh, decent bedrooms. Awesome. So everybody's mood is quite okay. 
And, um, well, I could eradicate everything out here. It would bring a lot of uh, meat into the freezer and leather. It's both quite good. Let's see. I got the first turret down. Awesome. Don't have components left for... Oh, oh well, we're, we can do the other one. Okay. So, let's wait out the night and hunt us some zebra today. That's a good plan. Because uh, one zebra is, uh, well, only 60 leather, but 180 meat. That's a lot. Should, um... Start considering doing some food baskets as well. And before I hunt anything, um, where's the orchard? I'm going to do the orchard over here. Well, I'm not really an orchard so far. More like the Drago tree uh, plantation. So this is going to uh, keep Django busy for quite some time. Planting trees is a really uh, long-term endeavor. Okay, Maria is replacing components. Oh. All right, I'm kind of like okay with that. So I want this one here. And then we're going for it, those zebras. <laughs> How much steel slack is there? Wow, four, 46. Not bad. Okay. Let's uh, get the crowd over here. All people except for Django, because uh, poor Django won't fight. So yeah, let's... Uh, Check out if I can avoid the uh, herd revenge. So, did somebody do the rifle yet? No, sadly not. So, Galagos can go as well. She's uh, also completely useless here. Sadly. Alright, one guy down. The more of the zebras we uh, get down before they go into herd revenge, the better. Because at some point they will go into herd revenge. They always do. <laughs> Told you. Well, we should be okay. We got some friggin' military turrets in our back. Should be worth something. There we go. As far as I see it, those guys shoot shoot a lot more bullets compared to the Minotaur, but, well, I'm too lazy to check out the numbers right now. It was a really, really disturbingly uh, long day, and I wanted to record some RimWorld to finally have some fun and not to do some math. Gonna do, gonna do that on some other uh, episode. Alrighty, there we go. This is going to be our treasure. In those hot regions, you always have to fight so hard for uh, the um, for wood in general. It's amazing. Sorry, that distracted me a little bit to uh, set up this here. So one thing is uh, smoke leaf leaves are allowed in here, and we're going to. Or the joints over here just to uh, shorten out the um, the movement ways joint is the word joint is the word right right all right there we go so this way whoever will craft that stuff will have a rather short moving uh, way there we go that's a real wall that's how real walls should look like. <laughs> okay, what about the steel? I don't think I should uh, send Zippy to mine more than this patch. Mm, what about the neighbors? 
Is the restock timer finally over? Yes, it is. Okay, that's going to be... Ooh, yeah, ever since any left, I remember. <laughs> okay, so... Well, whatever. Let's uh, send Paul, even though he's slow, and Dweeb, because he's quite well equipped. Okay, let's see what we can trade over there. I should have a few things to trade, for sure. So, a few pieces of clothing. Those Panthera fur dusters have a... But, well... Uh, uh, I, I expected more of a uh, difference in value between Panthera fur and plain leather. Maybe it's because they are somewhat worn. Okay, whatever. They're rather low on food, and they tell me that they're taking, they're needing quite some long time. Well, I do know that Pack Like Paul is a little bit slow, but, well... Dweeb is not the fastest moving guy either. Armor skin glands slow you down. Alright, whatever. So, let's, uh... Deconstruct those. And see what kind of treasures that will bring. Enter Cryptosly Casket. Hell no. So, that's uh, uranium and steel. Well, that's quite awesome. I want to have that stuff. Um, I don't have any uh, materials in particular that I want to use for uh, art. So, the Magal boys are coming back. The usual, you send a caravan, we send the uh, raid situation, so... A lot of poor sods out of the tribal business. So this caravan won't be uh, coming back until the morning hours. They are preparing though. Fools. You shouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, give Galagas the uh, incendiary launcher this time. I don't know, I hope I won't need it, but uh, Damn, we need that. We need more guns. More good guns. Alright, so let's uh, check that out. I want to use that time I have. There we go. And Zippy is quite well. Django doesn't count. We're rather um, horrible equipped right now. Gotta admit. Overall, it's really good. So, but um, I have a quite well fortified place. We have traps, we have uh, turrets, I know. It's uh, a lot of big things. But the uh, real bad thing is, we're only having four guys to defend that, and one of them is uh, wielding some heavy artil artillery ish weapon. Which is uh, kind of like non ideal to put it into a friendly speech. Alright, I feel like I feel better with assaulting the, uh, the squad here. I don't know how much time is left, but I wanted to make sure that they're well fed before we uh, go into that fight, because. Uh, it's going to take a while, and hungry people are a real liability. So, here goes Panther. They're immediately uh, going into an offensive stance here. So, let's uh, fall back. Alright, so uh, we ignited one of them. And as far as I can see, I only scored hits on one of them. Alright, that's a little bit sad. I was hoping for a little bit more. Okay. Let's bring up Maria again. Maria is a terrific shot. She, uh, 
could be able to nail down one or two of them out of a distance. I really gotta be uh, careful with the other folks over there though. Alright, Black is coming back for some more beating. It's a little bit uh, sad because he's uh, kind of like the guy who uh, would have dropped anyways. Ooh, headshot? Right into the right eye. <laughs> let's, uh, let's uh, let Maria fall back a little. She's uh, She's destroying those guys. So, um, well. Okay, so we got the uh, assault beginning now, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Because we're only having one side at a time. Oh boy, that's going to be quite some trouble. But that's why I uh, wanted to thin them out a little bit before uh, hand. Because uh, this troop will... Uh, be quite easy to uh, put into a flight. I think I'm going to leave only Zane here. I guess uh, he should be quite okay with uh, defending this place. Two turrets and Zane um, should be enough. So let's. Uh, gotta be really uh, careful with um, with the Galagos here. I, I really want to micromanage her the most. Because, um, well, it's quite obvious, isn't it? Her firepower will wreck up orc base if I don't uh, take it carefully here. Ha <laughs> ha! You silly fool. Alright, the other uh, squad is fleeing now. Awesome. So I can bring Zane to the other party. I don't think that uh, Zane will be uh, doing too much. So. Alright, I'm going to bomb out Hawk here. Let's see if that works. Boom, baby. <laughs> Alright, that's um, that's your incendiary launcher. I almost never manage to uh, put a good use to them, to be quite honest. Most of the time I feel like they're such awkward weapons. Unless you have something like a huge uh, insectoid monster walking towards you or something like that. Okay, Dornio, Dornio, what's up with you? You're a uh, man-hating, kind person. Quite talented, right? Artist. Yeah. Bring her up. I want to see uh, if we can um, convince her. To be one of us. Well, that went that went surprisingly well. I mean, I didn't even uh, take a scratch. My my folks kind of like danced between the bullets. Yeah, no thanks. Who wants a nude an ugly nudist who's even unable to care um, medical to do medical care? Come on. I'm sorry, man. Sorry to be not sorry, Black. And even a bully. Come on. Childhood. Bully. Ugly nudist. This guy only wants to be naked and a douche. Well. The rim takes one more. Um. Did somebody patch up Dornio? Of course not. Recruitment difficulty 99%. So. Everybody in my colony is having not more than a social value of four. Man. Well played, Empress. Well played. But we're going to patch her up anyways. We're, we're decent people here. Patch her up and send her home. Too bad. Would like to... Would have loved to keep that one. But no. It's a... Uh, work of a year and more. I mean... The good thing about it would be that after all that time, these guys would be uh, having some really good um, social value by the time being. Okay, we can release her already. So, go home. Happy to patch you up. Well, could have done the same for Black, but, well, I'm taking a... I've taken that decision a moment ago. So. 
All right, it's awesome. Where we're even getting the first uh, smoke leaf harvest in, so jolly good times here. Inspired taming on Zane houses animals. To yeah, sure, great. <laughs> so dromedaries. Well, I don't want to do that to blank. And I'm not going to name a, a, a dromedary after you, man. If you're watching right now, you should be relieved. Um. So, but these dromedaries, they're grade A hunting material. More food for the freezer. Oh, man. We're... This place is stuffed. Alright. Let's do some uh, food baskets. I have so much steel. Come on. Let's do... Steel food baskets. Maybe I should uh I should take the time and uh kill all the zebras at once. Yeah, zippy, do the bolt action rifle. So maybe I should um Consider, yeah, well, precision rifling is uh, such a good technology, but it's locked behind uh, a lot of requirements. Until then, the bolt action rifle is a pretty good uh, thing in between. It was so amazingly slow! <laughs> Man. Mad Bunny. Beware. Well, let's, um,. I'm going to take care of that mad bunny. Don't want to be, uh, don't want to see those turrets waste any uh, too, too late. Well, if you're already up and running, Zane, you might uh, might as well haul that bunny back home. I wanted to save the seal, so no need to waste all that good steel. So we arrived at Fortal Rune. Fortal Rune is such an amazing place, a uh, name for a place. Really makes me kind of happy every time to say it out loud, and I don't even know why. So let's sell off that gold, and it's, uh, it's that gold Dweeb was carrying around all the time. He even picked it up back again. Why, Dweeb? Why? So. A service rifle. Well, it's a four-shot assault rifle-ish thing. Gonna pick that up. EMP launcher is something you already have, so thanks, but no thanks. Love enhancer. Oh, baby. So, talk business. Aesthetic nose. Well, luckily nobody is missing a nose right now. Hot sauce. <laughs> awesome. I really like to see those things in the uh, shopping list. Yeah, there's a donkey. Okay. Donkeys. Donkeys are awesome, too. I want to grab a couple here. Can I afford that? No, I can't. What a pity. But I really, 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 really want to have that service rifle. Or, no, I don't need that. I'm gonna buy that another time. I'm going to come back again another day. I need those donkeys. Because donkeys, man, they're so good. They're amazingly uh, useful animals. Alright, so, there we go. With some super good animals on our way back home. So, yeah, well, I'm going to... Uh, let them do as they please. Alrighty. Tribal raids are uh, not that scary to begin with. Oh, I, I already have. Why did I forget about this room? I mean, it's quite obvious that I forgot forgot about it two times. I even forgot about, forgot about that I used it. Did I mention that I uh, had today like in... 10 hour a day with a two and a half year old toddler. I still have nursery rhymes in the back of my head. It's amazing how they stick in, inside your head. So, 
Galagas, you got your bolt action rifle. Ooh, really makes me happy. The incendiary launcher is quite cool though too. So maybe. Come on, let's uh, try that as well. Can we do that? No. So I really should uh, consider increasing the loadout. Uh, weights a little bit just a little bit to make the uh, use of tools possible i uh, keep forgetting to do that maria is uh picking up some beer and going to hunt some dromedary that's my girl all right so there we go It's uh, surprisingly manageable here. I didn't expect that. Okay, Paul's Caravan is out of food, but they're going to hit home anyways to today, so. It's, uh, it's not that horrible. Yeah, so they. What do they put first into the food basket? The uh, smoke leaf. Come on, guys. Stop kidding me. This is for meat, because we have tons of meat, tons of different meat as well, so. The uh, food baskets uh, store like six, 675 or 700 uh, units of something in particular, which is uh, really awesome. Okay, lots of steel as well in here. Nice. And there goes Paul's new leg. Well, it's going to be uh, not right to call him prosthetic like Paul. Heck, like Paul is, uh, well. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to call him legs one day. Who knows? Alrighty, Come on. Let's, uh, speed up a little bit. There we go. So there's the donkeys. Boom. Maria went into shoot frenzy. Oh my god! Even more accuracy for her. She's already having. She's already such an insane shot. Wow. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to uh, set Galagos on a uh, high hunting priority now, mainly because I want her to uh, learn more about that, and oh my god, there's a cheetah. Can we please rack up firepower and get rid of the cat before it gets rid of us? You know how this works. So, bringing up the people. So, I'm also not having a donkey named Blank. I'm waiting for some more badass animal. It's not how I treat my fans, you know. There we go. There's the cheetah. Well... Same old, same old. We're doing what we're always doing with those cheetahs. Make dusters out of them. I mean, if they wouldn't be hunting us, if those cheetahs would just accept that we are no prey, I would even let them live. I would take care of my stock, configure some nice zones, manage that they won't be running into the cheetahs, and they could hunt whatever's roaming in here. I'm not that kind of person. But if you try to eat me, I'm going to eat you. End of the story. Well, only between uh, humans and animals, though. I want to have that ember. Well, let's mine that out and do some nice art out of it. That's uh, going to be a good project to uh, make my game a little bit more uh, risky. But jokes aside, my neighbors do have a lot of things that I want to have, and I don't own enough money. 
The surf service rifle might not be the best uh, weapon, but it's a uh, pretty accurate um, automatic weapon, and that's a big increase compared to where I'm at right now. So, well, material thermal power research is uh, okay. I don't want to be uh, reliant on wind and uh, sunlight completely. With this mod, and especially this uh, storyteller, I want to have some uh, unconditional power source as well. Iolite. Color is that? Nice purple. Okay. Well, I want to start with the amber though. Zippy will do that today. Since I removed that nasty um, cheetah, we're going to be in no trouble here. Let's hunt those rats. There's a there are they are a nice shooting training. Same goes for that koala. Hey, peaches, jade. Due to the uh, extensive amount of uh, meteor bombardments, I do have a lot of materials on this map, and it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, any less in the future. I mean the. It should be becoming more and more dramatic what happens here. I mean, th this area here is looking like a joke. There are, all, there are so many meteorites, I never had so many on one map. Like ever, but it's only go going to get worse. Fugitive layer. So... We get to destroy a camp which is going to be guarded by eight enemies. In return, I would get to camp loot, which is uh, something which is uh, even marked out in particular. Lure trainer really? Nah, nothing I really need. So it's uh, amber art time. I'm going to make um, small sculptures until I'm out of amber. There we go. So. Basically, Zippy is uh, preparing her new work. Oh, there's no there's more steel. 1.3k units of steel. Amazing. And there's all those components lying outside there. Arrgh. Can somebody please... Come on, Django. Stop, stop cloud-watching all those precious components back home. Man. <sighs> really... Feels just wrong. There's a pure silver deposit as well. Hmm. With all those gem uh, stone meteorites, I'm uh, friggin' rich though. I didn't expect that they would have this kind of impact on my gameplay. I didn't expect this amount of um, meteorite um, drops, anyways. So, no, not Zippy. Zippy is uh, doing some other work. I'll uh, order them now to uh, haul those components because they kind of like deconstructed everything again and then just uh, went off to. Uh, let that stuff uh, t deteriorate out there now. So we're doing a colony-wide clean sweep now. And then I should have a huge plus of components. Damn, there's even more. Good lord. So... There we go. This is a moment where I, the uh, Moody mod really comes in super handy because it was really easy to find somebody who's uh, not busy right now. It's a real good uh, good feature of that. So sadly, it still doesn't have all the features that I would like to have for uh, for such a mod. But it's uh, a really good, uh, damn good thing 
Anyways, so 61 components, 1.6k steel. We're going to build a fortress now. And uh, I, I need to to keep some steel though um, for the geothermal reactors. But one thing I want to be doing right now um, are like four turrets randomly placed inside the base. Well, maybe not here. It's a little bit of a too narrow space here. This is quite good. And, uh, well, looks like this base is so small that I'm going to be good with three of them. All right, whatever. Um, I really like these random turrets to uh, fight off drop pod enemies. Maybe I'm going to um, do one or two turrets more in the future. The real good thing about turrets is um, I can replace, I can relocate them however I please. And it's really awesome because that means you can build them and uh, use them wherever you want. So I also noticed that I'm kind of like out of rhyolite. So, let's uh, change that. There we go. Galagos is getting her uh, much needed shooting training. She's uh, no natural talent, so um, it's even more necessary. We're, we're doing the tailoring dream here. Oh my god, it's so good. Let's allow the cloth for the dusters as well. There's no reason to disallow that. I don't have carpet making technology yet, so all the cloth can just go into um, into our apparel right away. Sometimes words are just uh, away. I want to have one thing though before um, all the cloth is already gone, and that's a billiard table made out of amber. Yeah, that's something. Something neat. We're going to drop that one in here. It's a little bit too crammed overall in here, but whatever. I'm going to uh, reinstall that somewhere else then. And also, sometimes sometimes I feel like I have a, a lot of trouble to uh, in discer discerning all these uh, different icons. For some weird reason, they don't feel too uh, descriptive to me sometimes, but maybe I'm just bad at memorizing them. I don't know. Just uh, trying to give some honest uh, opinion on this mod so far. But, well, I think with my next playthrough series, I'm going to return to my numbers mod again, because it's, it's always a pretty big window here. I mean, sure, I can do that a little bit smaller but mm, it's cool but I like the the compactness and the, uh, the configuration variety of the numbers mod more oh well I really do love to try out uh, different tools from time to time so this billiards table will take forever because it's going to be a beauty this is a real nice saturated orange tone I mean it's look going to look really uh, weird the preview here thumbnail doesn't uh, look too healthy but whatever it's just for the imagination come on imagine you're going in there and there's a, a billiard table whose frame is made out of uh, a composite of of wood and amber mostly amber though that should be a, like in a noble uh, that sounds like it should be compatible to a noble man's taste but well those gemstones are only uh, cosmetical Overall, the royalty uh, DLC um, messed up the modding community quite hard because uh, royals uh, have these uh, these royal needs. And so, well, I hope the modding community will wrap their heads around that soon and do uh, do more variety for things that nobles can accept. There we go, and one go, and it's even excellent. Yes. So, recreation power 160%. These guys are going to 
recreate themselves good here. It's only having a beauty of 30, but well, 1k. 1k of worth. All right, nice. So that's going to, to be the end of this episode, my friends, because, uh, well, at some point I do have to find an end. Drop me a comment down below if you have something on your mind. I deeply appreciate to hear some feedback, and I hope you're coming back for another episode soon. Goodbye, friends.